Well, it's the middle of February, but it's above freezing, so I can do a painting of these snow piles. It's overcast, so I'm not going to get strong light and shadow, but I should get um, a nice pattern of light and dark values, and that's what I'm after. I'm standing at the edge of the parking lot behind the supermarket, looking past the piles of snow pushed up by the plow. The gray watercolor pencil will help me map out the composition. And what I love is this red sign that says nothing, it's just a red sign, and then there's a yellow snow plow blade behind it. I'm going to use gouache for this one, a small palette of colors. Ultramarine blue, raw umber, flame red, zinc white, cadmium yellow, and burnt umber. I want to cover the whole surface with some color and save the brightest whites for the snow. So I mix a gray out of some of the ingredient colors and start a wet wash on the mountains and the building on the far side of the railroad tracks. This is a busy railroad line and trains go by here all the time. I'm trying to keep all this wet together because I can always build hard edges on top of the softness. Here's the dark area of the asphalt. These two color accents are a relief from the grays. Those far buildings were part of a seven acre factory for IBM. It was abandoned long ago. They called it Tech City and it's been sitting idle. They discovered that there was contaminated groundwater under it. Nobody wants to buy it now. There's been talk of tearing down Tech City, and perhaps that'll happen someday. Like these piles of snow, it'll all melt away. Until that happens, I'm excited to capture these forgotten corners of America in my sketchbook. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.